here and wish me a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Tim. Oh, thanks. Got you again. It's not my birthday, you stupid fish. <laughs> and you're getting fat. You better do some laps. Come on, round you go. On the wall. I'm home. Get a job. Get a life. Anyway, where have you been? I've been up all night, worried sick. You have not. Well, I was asleep all night and worried sick. Oh, oh yeah, don't you give me bull. I've got quite enough of your devil may care bull attitude. Why, well, during the war. Oh, not the war again. Yes, the war again, God bless it. During the war, the whole country was up all night worried sick. Oh. I, didn't, I didn't sleep for eight years. Why not? Somebody pinched me pajamas. <laughs> There's something very seriously wrong with you, Grumble Pup. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm not the one who stays out all night tarry hooting around up to my ears and drugs and wearing a dress. You ought to try it sometime. You never know, you might get lucky. God knows I can't. Anyway, where have you been? Did I tell you to, to get a job? Yes. Well, do it again. And pay Make some rent. rent. Right. Yeah. Anyway, where have you been? I don't want to talk about it. I've had a fight with Chris. It's all very well for her to go rushing off with her theatrical mates and organising the gay Mardi Gras. Well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. Well, what about me? What about you? Stop interrupting. <laughs> That's it, I've made a decision. From now on, I'm going back to blokes. Can't do better than a bloke anyway. Well, what's this all about? This Chris, isn't he a bloke? No. A girl. Uh -oh. <laughs> to be more precise, a proactive feminist. You mean she's a... Yes. Uh-oh. 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 Stop making those noises. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Morning, sweetie. I'm not sweetie. Hey, Fred, you make Barney's come in from his cave. <laughs> Morning, Ted. Uh-oh. <laughs> Pardon? Uh-oh. I don't get it, Ted. Over there. What? Lezo. <laughs> what? Lezo. What? Go on, go on, go on. No, we aren't either, are we, John? No, 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 never, never, never. I mean, we've got nothing against lesbians. I mean, I'd be, I'd be proud to have a son who's a lesbian. Go, no, I wouldn't. Will you listen to me? I'm not a lesbian. I mean, it's true. I did think about it. Huh? But I didn't. So now I'm going to find myself a boyfriend, a nice, sex crazed Australian boy who doesn't have bits of hardware stuck through his nose and other parts. Okay? Oh, fine, excellent. Yeah, fine, yeah, fine. Yeah, 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 good. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Subject no, no worries. closed. <laughs> what was that all about? Oh, I don't know anything about it, Jono. I think we retired just in time. It never happened when I was a boy. <laughs> Tell me about it. I didn't know there were poofs until I was 23. Huh? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Oh, what's that? <laughs> right, this is my new computer. Struth, it's small. It's the most powerful laptop in the land. Throbbing beneath this grey keyboard is 50% of the computing power the CIA had seven years ago. Peck on me, grandmother. Or to put it another way, exactly twice the computing power of all of Tasmania. <laughs> Can you get Roger Ramjet on it? Is he on the net? <laughs> if he is on the net, I can get him. I have hooked in. I am now a traveller in cyberspace. Aren't you a bit too old to be an astronaut? <laughs> No, Ted. No, with your bum problem, I'd hate to be up in a space capsule in case it went off. Have a care, Ted. I once played cricket for South Australia. Yeah, by the way. What's that? What's that? Ah, oh, it's a tape recorder. Nifty, right. isn't it, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, what the... uh, uh, would you mind reading this oh, for uh, me? Mrs. Gladys Thompson. No, no, hang on, hang on, I'll turn it off. Oh, right, eh? Uh. Wait, OK. Uh, right. Now. Mrs. Gladys Thompson, this is a concerned friend. Be warned that danger awaits you at Whispering Pines Retirement Village. Thank you. <laughs> hey, who's, uh, who's, who's Gladys Thompson? My horrible mother-in-law. I hate her. <laughs> She's 98 and feral. <laughs> and she wants to come and stay with us. With a bit of luck, when she hears this tape, she might change her mind. Oh, <laughs> Twiggy Boo, you're a clever bugger, Jono. Right, not a word to Muriel. You know what a wet blanket she can be when a mother gets death threats. <laughs> Darcy! Rumble one, Kenobi, I greet you as a fellow citizen of the globe. G'day, Darcy. Sir John of the Round. Ooh, nice computer. Yeah, you can get all of Tasmania on it. Well, you would have if you could, but the main question flashing through my head is why? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. 
Hey, what are all the chooks for? Aha, beautifully eyeballed, Sir John of the Round. Have I got a deal for you and you, Kimo Sabi, and the whole village. The cook's already filled his freezer and now you can partake. One chook, one dollar. Thought I'll be in that. Oh, I don't know. Where did they come from? Ah, yes, the eternal question that has plagued mankind through the ages. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> How come they're so cheap? Well, a container sort of fell off the back of a ship and sort of onto the back of a truck, which my mate was sort of driving at three o'clock in the morning, and uh, he sort of got a bit of blue light fright and sort of dropped them off at my place. So, uh, get them while they're still frozen. I'll have two. Come on, Ted, what about you? No, I don't know, I give up. What did come first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> well, that was one of the best chicken dinners I've ever had. Oh. Now, there's something about those chooks of Darcy's. Oh, they're really chicken here. You can really taste the chicken. Those drumsticks were great. Oh, there's nothing like a nibble on a warm thigh, is there, Ted? <laughs> Joe, I've got to tell you my news. My mother's coming to stay. The same wonderful woman I met last year. You got it. Attila the mum. <laughs> How lucky for you. Has your mum got one of those little cassette tape recorders? She has, actually. Donna bought it for her last Christmas. Why did you buy it for her? Because I love her to death. <laughs> Good one, Jono. She's a remarkable woman. She's still got all her faculties. And even at her age, she can program a video. And she's got her computer on the net. Yeah, she's a bloody miracle. <laughs> and what are the four of us go out one night? See a movie or something. Get Ted? No, no, I don't like going out anymore. I'm retired. Well, Teddy, they can go out and we'll stay in at my place and I'll put on one of my special videos. I've got a new one where this huge pirate captures an 18th century women's baseball team and... <gasps> Strike me pink! Oh, Teddy, at last I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Come on, guys, you can do it. Grow! <laughs> There's some very tricky chemical substances in here. And they're good for you, and they're great for me. See? <laughs> oh, that's good! <laughs> and as for you, Purple Traveller, I'm still the only one who knows you're from another planet. <laughs> Darcy, here. Oh, only the one, you, you frighten me. Well, tighten your underpants. Here comes another fright. Those chickens came from Hong Kong, didn't they? Sort of, yeah. Look at this. Hong Kong chicken flu threat. Hot chooks hunted. I think I need to be urgently somewhere else. Freeze! <laughs> Health authorities issued a warning today about a container load of frozen chickens from Hong Kong that has been stolen from the quarantine depot. Ooh. <laughs> Who would do a thing like that, huh? It is suspected that the chickens may contain the deadly Hong Kong chicken virus. They carry the brand Triple Happiness. And what is this? A uh, triple happiness chook wrapper? Correct! It is also exhibit A in your upcoming mass poisoning trial. <laughs> Just what do you propose I do now? Uh, have some of this. <laughs> It'll make you feel a whole lot better. So, summing up, we are the prisoners of the health department. The village is totally quarantined, which... When you think about it, it really doesn't affect us much because we're all stuck here with each other. <laughs> the doctor will be here any minute to run through... Here he is. Good morning, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> now you can relax. The Bangladesh cavalry has arrived. <laughs> I'm so happy! But then again, I am not the one with the life-threatening disease. <laughs> Are there any questions? Does this mean my mother-in-law won't be allowed to visit? Definitely not. No visitors allowed. What a tragedy. Doctor, 
I've been having amazingly vivid, quite outrageous, erotic dreams. Is this one of the symptoms? No. <laughs> Thank God for that, otherwise I would have had this virus for 20 years. <laughs> During the morning, you will all be required to take blood tests, so please come to my room. Why do we have to have blood tests? Because I really enjoy doing it. It is such a doctor thing to do. <laughs> I don't like giving blood, it's unnatural. Oh, I quite agree. I've often thought that if God had meant us to give blood, we would have been born with a tap in our arms. <laughs> but don't worry. Just relax and enjoy yourselves. Follow me. And remember, the last one into my surgery is a rotten puppet arm. <laughs> <laughs> Child! Well, you heard him. Come on, come on. Sometimes I think I need a sheepdog or a cattle prodder. Will somebody wake up, Bert? Jack, I wonder if you could help me with a small problem I'm having. You mean Drono? Yes. Don't worry about it. It happens to all men at times. Get him to eat oysters and beetroot and get some red lacy underwear. I don't think Jono would wear red lacy underwear. <laughs> for you, Muriel. He seems to spend more time with his new computer than anything else. Make him jealous. Use your woman's weapon. Use your charm. Use your sensuality to arouse... On second thoughts, forget it. Come on, let's go and give blood. Good night. Ah, Mr. Bullpit, have I got a sharp object for you? Sit down. <laughs> First of all, have any chickens sneezed on you recently? No. Good. Have you shared your bed with a chicken recently? I? <laughs> Oh, you should see your face from my side. Just my little joke. I mean, who would want to go to bed with a frozen chicken? <laughs> Unless, of course, you're a frozen rooster. Have you escaped from somewhere? Before I give blood, I want to know how much it's going to cost. It's free. Now, let's get on with it. Take your trousers down and drop them to your ankles. Why? So you can't run away when I stick the needle in your arm. <laughs> <laughs> only joking, only joking. No, you cannot give more blood. I've already done you. No, 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 no. It's me ferret. He's sick. Can you take a look at him? Oh, he's sick. That'll be $35. <laughs> Only joking. You need a bit. No, no, no. I, I, I can't get out. It's the quarantine, you see. Oh, I see. I tell you what I will do. I will take him to my brother. He's a vet. He will take very good care of him. What's his name? You don't know your brother's name? <laughs> the ferret's name. Oh, Christopher Skice. <laughs> oh, hello, Christopher. Behind bars at last. <laughs> What loony is at this time? Give me some money. Buy this. Sign here. You're under arrest. <laughs> oh, it's you, Jono. Quick, Ted, I've got to borrow your phone. What's wrong with your phone? Nothing. It's just that Muriel keeps hanging around in red underwear. <laughs> What's that got to do with the phone? Well, you know what a wet blanket Muriel can be about having an affair. An affair? Yeah, look, it is not physical. It is just cyber sex. Grandma, is that legal? Yeah, look, there's no law on the internet, Ted. It's open slather. Oh, this cyber sex, how does it work? Well, look, I will show you, right? Okay, now. Oh, yeah. Uh huh, it's log on time. Right, ah, right. Now, I'm swooping through cyberspace, and uh, here she is. Who? Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Hang on, she's dead. That's not her real name. Oh, God. Isn't it great, eh? Sex with strangers. Oh. You want me to leave the room? No, no, no. It's just, it's just fun, Ted. It's harmless fun. Look. Oh. Okay, just watch this now, okay? All right. Hello, Marilyn. Errol Flynn is back. <laughs> He's dead, too. <laughs> it's me, Errol Flynn. You don't have to whisper. She can't hear you. Oh. Right. Okay, now hang on, huh? Right now. Take off your. Clothes. Oh, that's a bit four, Jono. You haven't even bought her a packet of Jaffas. <laughs> Look, she's doing it. 
Oh, is that legal? Oh, God, yeah, look, oh, look, look. Oh, shriek me dead. Yeah. Oh, she is a real raver. Oh, look what she wants to do to me now. Pick on me grandmother. That is illegal and impossible. <laughs> How long's this been going on? Three weeks. Oh, it's fantastic. Better than the real thing. <laughs> at least at my age it is. Right. right, now you watch this. I have taken off all my clothes and have warmed up the baby oil. Morning! <laughs> Oh, nothing. It's all Jono's fault and I can't even type. Yeah. We've just been doing a, a sales tax seminar on the internet and Marilyn Monroe was there. What? Uh, yeah, it's a, um, a little, little known fact that uh, Marilyn Monroe was a very keen amateur sales tax accountant for many years after her death. <laughs> uh, gotta go now. I'll see you, Ted. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Hello. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> oh, by the way, have you read this morning's paper? No. There's an interesting story about cybersex. Oh, really? Yeah. Makes you go blind. <laughs> no problem here. Let me check the report. Blood, tick. Hemoglobin count, tick. Cholesterol, tick. Brake fluid, tick. Engine coolant, tick. Needs new wiper blades. What? <laughs> Just my little joke. You're fine. You're a chicken-free zone. Oh, that's a relief. You can go. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Next, please. Oh, good day, Doc. How am I? Ah, uh, Mr. Bullpit, our own bushfire in a cardigan. Why? <laughs> Just a little subcontinental musing. Oh, you uh, don't seem to be here. Uh-oh. Bad news. I'm going to die. That's it. I'm going to die, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, the first man in history to be murdered by a frozen chook. <laughs> No, Mr. Bullpit. Relax. This often happens. The lab has just forgotten to send it. I will call them now. Come back in five minutes. What am I going to do for five minutes? I don't know. I'm sure you'll think of something. Well, that's easy for you to say. By the time I've thought of something to do, the five minutes will be up and I'll have to come back here. <laughs> Why don't you go to the toilet? Ah, oh, good idea. I knew I'd forgotten something. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mr. Darcy, you have been a naughty boy. So many substances in your blood. <laughs> you mean I've got the chicken disease? No, no disease could live in this. <laughs> I haven't seen a list of drugs like this since Elvis's autopsy. <laughs> it's my humble tribute to the king. <laughs> oh, what about my ferret? Oh, I forgot. I will give my brother a call. Arvinda, how are you? Rundi. What is the report on Mr. Darcy's sick ferret? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. So it is terminal. No, there is no cure for that. That is very sad. You say he has to be put down? Yes, an injection would be the way to go, but there is always the hammer. <laughs> That'll be the Grim Reaper now. <laughs> Ted Liner, I just heard the dreadful news from the doctor. Don't cry, Darcy. I'm at peace with myself. A man's got to do what a man's got to do. I'm off up to that great traffic jam in the sky. What am I going to do without me best mate? There'll be memories, the good times, the bad. And to remind you, I want you to have this. The keys to the Kingswood? Well, you're the only one to show me any sympathy. It's the least I can do. The Kingswood is yours. Wow! You're giving me the Kingswood? Yeah. Just because they hit my ferret on the head with a hammer. What? <laughs> Put him down so I went with the budget option. What about the chicken disease? Oh, it's all clear. The, uh, the, the whole village is clean. And me? Oh, yeah, they, they faxed your report through. Oh, oh. oh pickle me, grandmother. It's official. I'm alive! <laughs>And so I said to him, you are not coming near me with a thing like that. <laughs> I should think so. Look, 
letter from my mother. Oh, joy. Well, I suppose with the quarantine being lifted, she'll be coming to stay again. Yes, I suppose so. No. Oh, ah. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? You love this, Joan. She says, I'm becoming quite a hacker on my computer. Now that I've hooked up to the net, I'm having a lovely naughty time with a pen friend called Errol Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, is that all you're wearing? It's the walk. The body is king. Now that I've finally got a date, I'm going to make sure he doesn't get away. Ah, oh, yeah, you, with a real bloke. Yes, a real bloke. And he's coming to pick me up. Well, that'll be him now. I'm not ready. And that's at the drawings. Don't frighten him away. Oh, all right, bloody woman, bossing a man around. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Vulpid. <laughs> What do you want? I'm here to pick up Teddy. Pick at me, grandmother. You drive a taxi as well. <laughs> no, a BMW. Come on, good night. 